Benson Hedges World Series Cup for 1988-89. This is the first weekend of matches. West Indies, Pakistan today. Australia and Pakistan tomorrow. Welcome to the highlights of the first game, West Indies and Pakistan. A game delayed a little by rain. A shower swept across the ground and it was reduced from 50 overs a side to 47 a side. Two bowlers a maximum of 10 overs and three others a maximum of nine. And the restrictive field circle for 14 overs rather than 15. Well, Imran Khan won the toss and decided to put West Indies into bat in conditions that uh, were just a little on the cool side. A nice firm pitch. And these were the teams announced by the two skippers at the toss. Pakistan, Imran Khan, Ramiz Raja, Sajid Ali, Salim Malik, Javid Miandad, Ijaz Ahmed, Salim Yusuf, Wazim Akram, the left arm pace bowler, and a good one too. Abdul Qadir, who arrived just at 6.30 this morning, just a few hours before the game, and Torsif Ahmed and uh, Akib Javed. The West Indian side, Viv Richards, Gordon Greenwich, Desmond Haynes, Carl Hooper, Richie Richardson, Gus Logie, David Williams, Malcolm Marshall, Kirtley Ambrose, Courtney Walsh and Winston Benjamin. We join play now in the third over. Nine runs on the board without loss. Imran Khan is coming in and he's bowling to Desmond Haynes. Your commentators, Tony Cozier and Bill Lurie. Be close, falls over just at the vital time. Quick call, quick response and also a good chance of a run out. Ijaz Ahmed, he's a left-handed fielder right-handed batsman the West Indies pair will know that came in very quickly the throw was going to be to the bowler's end down he went he's out there and short ball from Wazim Akram that'll be the first boundary of the day that's the penalty you pay for drop short here in Adelaide it's a perfectly executed pull shot from Haynes in good touch Ball round about off stump. That's the place to pull from. The angle of the left hander going across to about off stump and whack. Superbly executed pull shot. Fine shot. And the short boundaries here at the Adelaide Oval gaining that four runs. Yes, that was a squarish drive. Fieldsman up. It was always going to be four and Imran electing to bowl first because the chance of rain. This match has already been reduced to 47 overs, so he made the right decision there. Here's Imran Khan now to Greenwich. And that's already hit very hard by Greenwich. Anything short he will put away, as we've seen with the square cut already today. And he really got himself into that shot. Excellent hooker or puller. Imran just a fraction short, not all that short, but Greenwich beautifully positioned, whipped it over square leg. Superb player, square of the wicket, Gordon Greenwich. Wazim Akram is the bowler and Desmond Haynes taking strike. Lovely shot and uh, the boundary down there quite short, so four runs off the legs for Desmond Haynes and the West Indies opener is really piling on the pressure here. Superb shot. Makes it look so easy as Desmond Haynes. Well timed and placed. Beats the short leg and the fine man at long leg. And we're going to see spin in the form of Torsif Ahmed, a little off spinner who the Pakistanis call Lionel Ritchie. Well hit and just clears the fence. I don't see much better sweep shots than this one. Really taking advantage of the, the short boundary square. Desmond Haynes just helped that a little bit, but a nice, flat, firm hit. Clears the fence by a couple of metres. Once again, an example of the brilliant placement. Snuck that between deep backward square leg and the man at backward square leg. Leaves Imran Khan in a very awkward position. It's not very easy, but it's a glorious shot. And the 
here we're seeing some innovation. And ball pitch wide of the leg stump. A step back and a boundary result. So the run's really mounting here. 20 runs now against the name of Torsif. And he's yet to complete the second over. Brilliant batting. Backed away that time and went straight between mid-off and cover. Well, what a feast crowd here. It's not a big crowd yet, but really plundering the Pakistani attack at the moment. 14.5 overs completed here. It's the 15th. Up and over. Is it going to be out? No, there's a drop catch. And four more runs. Into the over. 15th completed. And the West Indies are none for 94. At the moment, West Indies providing an absolute stouching for the Pakistan bowlers. Greenwich and Haynes, a delightful partnership here. Not just uh, brisk hitting, but... Uh, very good common sense, nice stroke play, good running between the wickets. And uh, they've got Pakistan a little on the run at the moment. There's the sweep again. Every time, Torsi just strays to round about middle and leg. He's been given some terrific hammer. Yes, and there's a bit of a problem too with the field placing here. I'd not quite sure Imran's got it right because they've clearly decided that that area just behind square is going to be what they're aiming for. They've got a man in front and a man fine. And uh, unfortunately, there's a gap on the boundary back. And now they're moving the man. But that's the area right there. Pinpointed almost at the yard by Tony Gregg there. They're chasing that. That is the short boundary. Well, they're both short boundaries here. I think they have had a terrific belt. Beautiful shot. And it's no wicket for 118. And well, there's another one. Are being uh, let down by their subsidiary fielders out in the outer as well. Yes, it's uh, being dropped all over the place, but uh, more importantly, it really is being hit very firmly. Have a look at that shot. Slightly short, and he really has smashed it square for six in magnificent fashion. It's a terrific shot. The outfield is very, very quick. But you would have reckoned that fielder would have had that covered way down there on the boundary. It's Wassing oh. Ofkram there going for it. He uh, put the big dive in right at the end, but the ball was hit very firmly. Good effort, actually. Didn't quite get there. And yet another boundary. Oops. Just missed. See over bold. No wicket for 152. Young 16-year-older. It's a nice shot over mid-wicket. It'll be four. It's unusual to see two batsmen pacing each other. Such a quick start. Normally one gets a break, but Haynes and Greenwich pacing each other, playing all the shots, great entertainment, making it very difficult for the bowlers. Yes, of course, the bowlers, they, they don't get any respite at all. You talk about batsmen getting respite from bowlers getting up the other end. But it's almost as if this pair are very eager to get down, take block, and uh, and this sort of stroke results. Seen some very powerful sweep shots, poof. But that one on the front foot, magnificent shot. Charge is gone again. This could be over the fence. That's six more. Tremendous batting by Haynes and Greenwich here at the Adelaide Oval. 
The over bowled, no wicket for 167. Got him. Yes. Come down the wicket, push through the top spinner. Abdul Kader breaks through. Gordon Greenwich, clean bowled for 70. Fine piece of bowling. As Abdul Kadir, he's slowed the flow of runs. Greenwich trying to make some innovation there. Feet not exactly in the right position. And the leg spinner has struck. First blood at long last for Pakistan. Greenwich out for 70 in the 26th over. The West Indies one for 169. Richie Richardson comes to the crease to fall the first wicket. It's high score 110 versus Pakistan. Could be out. He's got a wicket, the young man. He's got his first wicket. Richardson caught behind, trying to cut a ball too close, and the second wicket falls at 174. I'll never forget this moment. Akiv Javed, 16 years of age, his first wicket in international cricket. A nice one, the off cut, a jag back, extra bounce, and not a very difficult decision at all there by Rick Evans. So the second wicket down for the West Indies, then out two for 174 as Richardson departs for two. And that brings Vivian Richards to the crease to play his 150th Women's Day International match. Tries to squeeze out, he's got him to hit across the line. A big appeal by Carter and he's plumb in front. LBW for one. Well, uh, Abdul Carter fresh from the flight from Singapore and tremendous loop again. Strikes for the second time. Looked as though it pitched pretty much in line. Tony Crafter, the umpire, had no hesitation in pointing to the heavens. And the captain of the West Indies side, Viv Richards, out for only one. The West Indies three for 181. Torsif Ahmed comes back into the attack. He copped uh, a bit of a thrashing earlier on. Four overs for 49. Another one. So Torsif has come on and uh, Ian, I think he's finding it just as hard as he was when he was bowling earlier. That's the fifth, sixth of the innings, and Haynes really striking everything from the middle of the bat. He's having a tremendous innings here. Yes, uh, might have misjudged things there for Torsif. So Torsif out of the attack, and Imran is back, and here is Desmond Haynes now with the single run to get a century. And that's it. So Desmond Haynes with his 11th century in one day internationals. His second in succession, following his century in the Test match in Perth, and he joins Vivian Richards on the record number of One Day International Centuries 11. Here's Abdul Kader, and he's bowling to Carl Hooper. And that's done the ground and beautifully hit by Carl Hooper. It won't carry. This is the longest straight boundary in the game, but it was beautifully struck. Yes, you hit a six down the uh, ground at Adelaide Oval and you know you're hitting the ball well. I've seen, I think, one or two. I've certainly seen one. Not quite sure about a second one clearing the boundary straight. Corsif has been reintroduced into the attack, but Imran is bowling him from the cathedral end so that the batsmen are hitting into the wind when they hit to the short side or to the short boundary. It's in the air off the top edge. And Carl Hooper is gone. Caught out there by Wazi Makram. So top edge to sweep. And the fourth wicket has fallen. Carl Hooper caught by Wazi Makram off Abdul Kada. Abdul's third wicket. Correction off Tosif. Coming back. So that will make him feel better. Well judged catch there. So the new batsman is Gus Logan. He'll face right away, even though the bowling is from the opposite end. The batsman crossed while that ball was in the air and the catch was being made. 
So Imran to Gus Logie. Slogi immediately off the mark. Brilliantly caught. Javid Miandad. He may be one of the oldest members of the team, but a brilliant take at backward point to end an outstanding innings by Desmond Haynes. Well, Javid told us that his back was fixed up. And this proved his point there by taking a magnificent catch, diving away to his left-hand side. And Pakistan just gradually getting back into this game with the West Indies 5 for 218. New batsman is Malcolm Marshall, and he comes in to replace Desmond Haynes, who has just completed his 11th century in one-day internationals. New over from Toshi Farmed. Beautifully taken, just couldn't get the leg bail. Yusef doing a fine piece of work behind the stumps. It's just a fraction wide. Logie is 11, Marshall 7. Pakistan are still fighting back here. They're in awful trouble at one stage. Shout for come on two there from Logie. And that is very well run once again. Logie's a good runner. His partner Marshall was quick to respond, but wasn't absolutely certain where the fielder was. Early call. Marshall has a look, but takes off. Gus Logie in fine touch with the bat. And he's gone, no doubt about that. Salim Yosef, it's come off the glove. No difficulty about the catch. It was just a question of whether the umpire had picked up that it had flicked the glove, which he did. And Gus Logie walked. No hesitation here from the little man. He's got the glove there, pops up to Yusef, and Logie does not even look at the umpire. That's a vital breakthrough, obtaining the lower order. It's five for 240. Now, here's a fellow I think is a very good cricketer, Winston Benjamin. Can't get a game on the test side at the moment. But he's uh, a fastish medium bowler. Inclined to hurry onto the batsman a little or make the batsman hurry their strokes. He's a hard hitting batsman, and now that his arm has recovered from the shoulder problems, he's uh, a very good fielder. That's very close. In fact, it's out. That's well bowled by Wazi Makram. And there is no greater underlining, I reckon, Bill, of the virtue of taking wickets in limited overs cricket than what you've seen here today. West Indies are running away with a match. Pakistan fought back simply by taking wickets. This ball swinging back in and hitting him plum in front. That would have taken the middle stump. An excellent piece of bowling by Wazim Akram. And that's right. Wickets have fallen, the run rate has slowed down to under five runs per over, seven for 241. David Williams, the wicketkeeper, who's replacing Jeff Duchon in the match, uh, Duchon has flu. And outfield is like lightning here today. Needs to be taken into account by West Indies when they're setting their fields. Abricada bit of stick there by David Williams. Too much width and the opportunity to slash it square and hit it beautifully. The crowd which is building up nicely here at the Adelaide Oval getting great value for their money. That's in the air straight down the ground. No it's not straight up and there's going to be a collision. No there's not. It's got him. <laughs> well there we are. Salim Yasuf taking the catch there running from the wheelkeeper position and I thought for a second there was going to be a collision. Well, the keeper had the right of way. Not that that was completely understood. Ball was in the air for a long time. Kadir takes his third. And there it was. He takes his position under the ball. But it could have been a nasty incident. David Williams is out for six. The West Indies now eight for 262. So the big three for Pakistan played. Kadir has made his impact on the game, taking three wickets. Now the captain to bowl the last over. 
Oh, he's bowled him. That's hit the leg stump and deflected away down to fine leg. And so Imran has struck. Marshall is out. Obviously, the West Indies throwing the bat at everything at this stage. The benefits of bowling at the stumps. The length gets uh, Marshall in trouble there. Not up enough to really hit on the half volley. Little extra bounce goes over the top of the cross bat. Marshall's out for 20. The West Indies nine wickets down for 263. Courtney Walsh is the new batsman. He's the number 11 in the lineup. His highest score 18 in one day internationals. And he's going to have to face Imran Khan. This is the last ball. And it's going to go for four buys, I'd say. Imran's not very happy. And so that's quite a good finish for the West Indies. Well, what a great fight back by Pakistan. Very capably led by Imran Khan. And they really pulled themselves back from the brink there. That opening stand between uh, Desmond Haynes and Gordon Greenwich was quite brilliant. And the final total for the West Indies, 9 for 269, reflected both the opening stand and also the way the Pakistanis fought back. Greenwich 72 and Haynes 111. And then it was the bowlers who took over and Imran Khan's captaincy had a great deal to do with that final result. The bowling figures, Imran himself 2 for 47 and Wazim Akram 1 for 46. They were the two who got through their 10 overs. But the man who did all the damage, Abdul Qadar, 9 overs, no maidens, 3 for 34. Just off the plane, down for practice after breakfast, and there he is, bowling superbly, is over the wrist spin. 2 for 72 for Torsi Farman, who took a bit of a hammering, and uh, Akib 1 for 49 in 9 overs. So, quite a task there for the Pakistan batsmen, but it's a beautiful pitch, conditions are good, and they have a very, very strong batting lineup. Sajid off the mark with a very good looking clip off the toes. So, just a reminder that the Pakistan team have 47 overs, this game reduced by three overs because of the rain this morning and the field restriction will be in place for the first 14 overs. Two bowlers allowed to bowl 10, three allowed to bowl nine overs. And he's out. Gordon Greenwich at mid-wicket takes the simplest of catches. Malcolm Marshall claims the first Pakistan wicket. It's a pretty optimistic shot, this one. Tries to go for that pull shot again and ends up top edging the ball straight in the air. And Gordon Greenwich doesn't drop. Straightforward catches like that one. So Pakistan straight away in trouble. Sajid Ali up for two and Pakistan one for three. At number three for Pakistan, Salim Malik. He comes in to replace. Uh, Sajid Ali. Strong bottom hand grip. Allows him to whip the ball away on the onside. That's a good save by Richie Richardson. Pretty handy with his feet. We saw him make a great save in Perth. That's one for six. Beautiful shot. That's that bottom hand grip again. Allows him to whip the ball away off the pads. Yes, that really is lovely timing. Ball probably pitched on the stumps there, and he certainly whipped it away. That's the bottom hand there. Whack. And uh, there really wasn't any need to run there. He placed it perfectly. And because he timed it so well, it was always going to reach the boundary at square leg. Shot. He's looking pretty good at the moment. I mean, it's Raja, 26, a lot more experience, 74 matches in all, and he has got himself 100 and 14 half centuries as well in one day internationals. 
Beautiful delivery. The leg cutter. You don't have to ask the question when you bowl deliveries like that. That was a beauty. Sachi Dali comprehensively bowled by Malcolm Marshall. He went in right up close. The ball just moved away a little bit and down goes the off stump. That's very well bowled. And so that's the end of Sajid Ali. Two for 17. A very competitive Javed Meandad. With a top score in one day internationals of 119. Comes in with Pakistan in trouble having lost their second wicket with a score of 17. Andy Cricketer, only 23, yet he's played 32 one-day internationals. Through the gully, through Desmond Haynes, for four. That's what's needed. It's pretty well struck, beaten twice, and then he pulls out the square cut. Straight through Desmond Haynes, probably still thinking about the 100. And away for four. Courtney Walsh carrying on with good line and length. Walsh is a mainstay in this bowling lineup. And safely away over the infield for four. <laughs> Nicely timed, just whipped it off the leg stump. Got it through. Not an easy bit of fielding for Medoff. It was travelling and he had to judge the bounce perfectly. And even an outstanding fielder like Viv Richards couldn't quite make the save. Good running and a good bit of fielding, but they always were going to have the single. And in fact, now they've got a second. It's got to be close. Umpire Evans from Western Australia. He's knocked that one back. It kept low, worth having another look at. Just outside the line. May have missed the line of leg stump there, but well worth a shout. He's dropped it, straight in and straight out. Carl Hooper putting down Javed Miandad. That really would have been just about the nail in the coffin for Pakistan. This is the partnership that must flourish, must flourish even more than it is now. That run rate keeps creeping up. Yes, I think that's some indication that uh, they realise what needs to be done. They're going to have to bite the bullet and go for it. There's absolutely no point in ending up way behind. At the end of play, they've got to really go for it now. Boundaries. And the little nudge away down through gully. Didn't come off this time. That's the sort of uh, stroke they had to start playing, plus the one down the ground. Always pressure and more pressure on the batsman in a situation of this kind. Yes, he looked as if he was trying to get that one away very fine and beat the third man. He got it away fine, all right, but it was too fine. The keeper taking the catch, drive it out for 38. And... Williams doing the work. Three for 81. Ijaz Ahmad. Comes out to replace Shavid Meandad. Yes, and this is how Meandad's innings came to an end. Tried to run that one down to third man, and no mistake made there by Williams. Oh, and that's a big appeal for LBW. And no response there from umpire Evans. Well, there was a response. It was in the negative. Well, he's uh, gone down. 
as e jazz and uh, he panicked there for a second as the bowler followed through he slips here as he tries to turn on his heel and just for a second i think he had doubts about whether he was going to get back so on 38 now e jazz six He's got that one away square, and that'll be a boundary. A bit more of that is what's needed. So he jazz. Cotting that one away down towards the boundary at square leg, and that brings the 100 up for Pakistan. Had a go at that one too, but Malcolm Marshall is uh, down in the deep here at long on. Well, that's just over the top of the head uh, of the bowler. It's uh, not really off the face of the bat. He was trying to whip it away down towards mid wicket. Good throw too by Desmond Haynes, quickly across and right over the top of the stumps. Notice how he tried to whip it away, it went straight over the top of Vivian Richards' head. Well, that uh, was both good fielding, keep them down to the single, but running between the wickets was only very, very moderate. Really is not on that one, just spooning over the top of mid-wicket. A big shot of catch it emanating from the mouth of Viv Richards. He's bowling his off spinners at the moment. So Malcolm Marshall back into the attack. He opened the bowling. Two for 16, his figures. The other wicket taker, Walsh, one for 41. That's gone high. This will take some catching. Greenwich is underneath it. He's got good hands. Oh, he dropped it. He's dropped it. Well, it was swirling up there in the wind. Gordon Greenwich has caught a sky already today. Got underneath it, but he got a little bit too far back, and he ended up having to come forward, and he dropped it. There it is. Up it goes. Miles up there. The wind is howling and it's uh, wandering around all over the place. And oh, there we go. Three for 123. Viv Richards into the attack or back into the attack. That one hit over the top of cover. They'll come back for the second. Could this be close? Yes, it will be. And a big appeal there. But umpire Evans said he's just made his ground. So that's well run by these two. To take up commentary now, Tony Cozier and Ian Chappell. Thanks, Tony. Very good return. But uh, it was just, oh, a few centimetres away from the uh, from the stumps. And that just gave the batsman enough time to get home. Beautifully taken by Williams. What a catch. Jack in the box, that catch by Williams. Yes, that's a swept lemonade classic catch, that one. Really a tremendous effort for uh, such a small man. That uh, edge really flew, and so did the keeper. So Ejaz is on his way. Court Williams bowled Marshall for 26. Pakistan 4 for 129. The Pakistanis here have sent in Wazim Akram, the big left-hander. When he gives the ball a clout, it stays clouted. Slice that one. Courtney Walsh is the man at deep mid-off. Had two chances there because Akram was out of his crease. Could easily have had him uh, run out. Yeah, Courtney's not catching these days. We saw him put down one 
in the test match at Perth, which was a fairly straightforward one. He had a good sight of that one all the way. Perhaps the, the Seagulls may have just uh, lost the ball momentarily for him. That's Ramiz Rajas 50, and well played for him. Been there from the start. Pakistan have always been struggling. He, he's seen them through. He's got a half century. Just the 1-4. One 101 deliveries. Well, that's the end of Wazim Akram. Inevitable. He was really having a go. Malcolm Marshall picks up another one. And Pakistan slide further towards their inevitable defeat. Five for 141. Wazim Akram out for nine. Bowled by Malcolm Marshall as the drinks correspond with his departure from the ground. So Viv Richards is finished and Winston Benjamin, fellow Antiguan, comes on from the cathedral end. Perhaps he should have had Williams in that position. Uh, Viv Richards the ball just eluding him but looking back to that it was a very first match in any world cup competition it was england against india at lords of all places england made a little matter of 334 for four of their 60 overs and perhaps sinal gavaskar said well there's no way i'm going to get that but even at that he made 36 not out of 60 overs now that's an easy one for richard so he hauls it in having been teased by imran khan for two deliveries previously in the over twice just over his head now the third time just chipped into his lap and uh, captain catches captain Pakistan throws another one that's good bowling by Winston Benjamin he got three deliveries into that area two went over the top of Viv's head and one down his throat six for 152 new batsman is the keeper Salim Yusuf a very useful cricketer very useful indeed. Had an outstanding series in the West Indies with a bat. Very frustrating man to bowl at. In the air, that's out. Straight to Richards. Salim Yusuf caught it mid off. Straightforward catch. Yes, that was very straightforward. They've got no option really. They've got to go for it. And this was an example of trying to heave it over the top of mid off and not quite getting it in the meat of the bat and a pretty straightforward catch there to Viv Richards so that's the end of Salim Yusuf out for six seven for 166 Carter coming to the crease and he bowled very well today yes he certainly did bowled superbly and indeed put the brakes on the West Indies and I think that Imran probably regretting they didn't bring him into the attack just a little earlier That's a nasty one first up. He's a good bowler this lad. He can't take it away from him. He has that angle coming into the right hand. He gets plenty of lift. Very hard to score off. Yes, I don't think uh, he enjoyed that one too much. It's yes, the plight of a leg spinner. He bowls lovely little leg spinners, which uh, with flight and guile and beats the outside edge, and no one can really bat against him. And on the other hand, the big fast bowler <laughs> scares everybody. Chance for a run out, doesn't pick it up. Benjamin coming across from cover. <laughs> I feel a lot better now, says Abdul. So the final delivery. Take a single. So easy victory for the West Indies by 89 runs at the Adelaide Oval. Very professional performance. Well, that was a real beating for Pakistan. A magnificent performance from the West Indies in the first of these Benson Hedges World Series Cup games. Pakistan, perhaps a little short of hard international match practice. They've played a couple of games up in Queensland, but that is uh, far and away from uh, being the proper preparation.
for this type of competition. Just to look at the cards now to refresh your memory of what happened earlier with that super partnership between Greenwich and Haynes, 72 and 111 and their partnership 169 in 158 balls. Then the slump, 10 wickets fell for 100, but they had the basis of a big innings there, nine for 269 West Indies. And in reply, Pakistan 180 at the close of play when they ran out of the overs. Top score, Ramis Raja, 69, 38 to Javed, who looked to me to be running into form. Ijaz, for whom I have a high regard as a batsman, made 26, seven for 180, but they were never really in the event and uh, Vivrich has handled the side very well. The bowlers bowled extremely well, particularly Marshall, who finished with four for 34 in 10 overs. Uh, Tony Gregg is waiting down in the presentation area now with the two skippers and the man of the match. Thank you, Richie. I've got $5,000 here allocated by the Australian Cricket Board out of their Benson Hedges kitty. And uh, 3000 for you today, Ridge. Viv, uh, very, very well played. Yeah, I think the, good start. Yeah, I think it's always nice to, to start on the good foot. Uh, guys played well, you know, we had a good start, you know, and I think we were able to capitalise, you know, from that start. And for some reason, we, we bowled pretty well as well. So. Overall, I think it was a magnificent performance all around. One or two catches went down. That's yeah, I think you know, well, yeah, I think you know, I think as I've said, you know, I think we we got to keep improving. You know, there are times with the no balls as well. You know, and now the catches. You know, so I'm hoping that you know we can actually smarten up. You know, on that. Very well played today. Thank you again. Yeah. Imran's been good enough to come in and collect these fifteen hundred dollars. Bad luck. Um, not a great start. No, it wasn't. I mean, we looked uh, pretty poor in, in every way, and I think we have to play much better if we have to get it anywhere in the competition. You won the toss, obviously because of the rain you decided to put them in. Was yes, the weather looked unsettled, you know, we didn't know if the, if the, if the match would be interrupted. Uh, and so we thought, you know, if the target was shortened by any way, we, were, we would be in an advantage batting second. But in the event, it was obviously a big mistake. Well, they got off to a great start. Now, when you did bring Abdul Qadir into the attack, that fixed things to a degree. Yes, I think uh, otherwise we could have been chasing about 350. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck tomorrow. Looking forward to the game against Australia? Yes, certainly. Um, we hope to improve our performances. Well, watch out for you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Imran. We've got $500 here as well as these magnificent Benz, the Benson Hedges gold goblets. I'm sure I know what you're going to do with those. You'll be, yeah. you're, you're into the wine these days? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a white wine. I'm sure it's a white meat diet. So. <laughs> And don't forget your $500 check. There's, much, there's, yeah. There are two in a row in the big time. It's, it's turning out to be a great summer. Yeah, I just hope we can continue. Yeah. And the, the object of the exercise as openers these days, you two go out there, you've done it so often before. What, have you got any sort of target that you set yourself, so won a ball or anything like that at the beginning? No, we don't really set ourselves any target. But because we played with each other so often, we get to know, you know, sometimes we don't even have to call mm -hmm. when we're running between a wicket. And uh, obviously, with the men in the circle, we tend to make sure that we'd be more aggressive early on in the first. So you uh, go out of your way to hit it over the top, anyway. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And so, would you look at fifty in the first fifteen or sixty or? Yeah, we're on, we're on there. Yeah. Right. Well, very yeah. well. I can't played. give away too many secrets. Though. <laughs> <laughs> very well played today. And uh, you, where, where are you off to here? Bit of a Sydney. Break? No, we're off to Sydney, Sydney now. Right. Look forward to catching up to you later. Thanks very much, Tony. There we are, Richie. That's all from down here. Thanks, Tony. Desmond Haynes, a worthy winner of the Man of the Match award in this first Benson Hedges Cup match of the summer. The next match, Australia against Pakistan at the Adelaide Oval. We look forward to that and we look forward to having you with us. It should be a great encounter and the whole competition should be full of excitement as the season goes on. For the moment, it's good night. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.